So there's so many people who are really inspired to jump on the vegan bandwagon, mm -hmm. but without all of the facts. They don't have the knowledge to do it correctly. Right. And the reason and this it is... it can be good for you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You can, okay. listen, yeah. you can absolutely be healthy on a vegan diet, but the truth is you don't have to be vegan to be healthy. Right. That's okay. it. But if you want to be vegan, what's the game plan? Because that's what we're trying to give people this morning. So if you want to be vegan, well, first we should talk about the fact that there are three types of, of vegetarians. Okay. Right? First, you have a vegetarian that eats vegetables, fruits, grains, beans, nuts, and seeds. Okay. Add eggs to that, and you've got the ovo-vegetarian. Ovo-vegetarian. Add, okay. add, take away the eggs and add milk or dairy, you've got the lacto-vegetarian. Okay. But when you add milk, when you add dairy and eggs, you've got the lacto-ovo-vegetarian. True. All so right. the first kind of vegetarian is really vegan. Mm -hmm. that, it's yeah, the same truly thing. Vegan. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been talking about vegetarianism for ages. Mm -hmm. And it's so truly vegan means just eating these things here. So you've got your, your, your fruits and vegetables and your grains and your nuts and your seeds. But here's a problem. There are some nutrients that you really do need to uh, supplement because you get um, less of the effect of, for example, iron. Iron gets bound in, it's a mineral that gets bound in the food that it comes from because there are two types of iron, non-heme, which comes from plant sources, and then there's heme iron that only comes from animal sources. Okay. And the problem is that for heme iron, it's readily absorbable and available to the body to be absorbed and to be used. Okay.